What's up, Bulldogs? All right, we're gonna talk about the friend zone. You wanna talk about the friend zone? I wanna talk about the friend zone. We all wanna talk about the friend zone. The friend zone is the zone that nobody likes, but everybody likes to talk about. So we're gonna be talking about the friend zone. If you've been friend zoned, this video is for you. If you suspect that you're gonna be friend zoned, you know, or maybe you're not sure if you are, well, you, you'll find out after this video. If you guys are just joining me for the first time, I'm John from BulldogMindset.com. On this channel, I teach you how to be a man, how to build financial independence, how to get the physique you want, how to get the girl that you want. Click the the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed to the channel. I, I don't know if I should even say that anymore. It feels like I'm not getting, I don't know. It, does that make a difference if I call the action subscribe? I'm not sure. Anyway, click the like though. I know that one does make a difference. I I'd appreciate it. If you just get the habit, if you watch these videos a lot, if you just would hit the like button, because it just helps, you know what I mean? I, I'm, I'm a businessman. I'm trying to figure out ways to expand my audience and my reach. So let's, let's jump here to the actual content of this video called Friend Zone. He says, please keep this information confidential well <laughs> uh I, I sort of all right i won't say your name how about that so basically about a year ago a girl came up to me and my friend in university and asked if she could join my friend and i for this assignment that was due after thinking my friend and i accepted <laughs> did you were you really thinking about that how long were you thinking about that i yeah okay let's let's see here all right uh, about a week after we met, we decided to work on our assignment at a Starbucks cafe. And then very next day, we met again for the second time. But this time, my friend was not with us. Ooh, all right. This is like a, this is the, the plot thickens at this point. All right, let's see what he says here. All right, so the friend is not with you. Uh, as we were doing our assignment, I later came to realize that we were chit-chatting more than doing what we needed to do. All right, I see where this is going. I was also surprised of how this girl that I just met would share personal stuff about her life and how she randomly added me to her Snapchat's private story. Okay, let me just burst your guys' bubbles. This is so far from, from the sexual zone. Okay, I know it's good. I mean, hey, don't... I, I don't want to like completely burst your bubble, but I need to burst your bubble a little bit because the reason why I'm going to say this is because this highlights guy think versus girl thing okay so guys always think that a girl's interested in them but, but what if she just says hi if she just does any kind of if she just looks her direction guys think oh this girl must be interested in me okay girls on the other side a guy could literally be like i think you're the most beautiful girl i've ever seen in the world and she's like yeah nah, i don't believe you right uh, now again some of this is just posturing and just fishing for compliments but but girls don't understand that if a guy is talking to you he likes you. There's only reason one reason why he's talking to you. He's either selling you something or he likes you, in which case he's selling you something. OK, so the reason why I say this is because, guys, you can't just interpret these small. Now, don't get me wrong. OK, the, the mind frame that you need to have is that you are the prize. OK, we've talked about this before. You've heard this before. But when I say this, I mean that you are an awesome guy. And of course, women are attracted to you. Of course they are. Now, not that this particular one is. See, this is the, the key thing here is that, of course, women are attracted to you. Of course, she should be attracted to you. But that doesn't mean that you ignore the reality of of what's actually happening. OK, you should have that frame. It's like and if she's not, that's fine as well. It's not a big deal. Right. I mean, you're crazy. You're crazy for not not liking a guy like me. I mean, what are you smoking? But hey. I'm cool. I'm cool with that. If you want to be a crazy chick, ah, you know, you don't you don't see the value that's standing here. This Greek God. Come on. OK, but it's fine. It's not a big deal. It's all right. You know, that's that's the kind of attitude. Of course, I'm I'm playing it up a little bit, but I, I think you get the point. OK, but don't just interpret every action as positive. See, because what happens for a lot of you guys is you're like, oh, she she sat down with me. She 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 gave me her phone number. She added me to Snapchat. Therefore, she must love me <laughs> okay you're just jumping to this because she's like she's like tested she's like i'm mildly interested in this guy but there's 15 other guys that i'm also mildly interested in that's the point where she is most likely at in this case now again i'm i'm, I'm exaggerating it's not always the case obviously there's some clear signals obviously this girl is at least somewhat attracted to this guy in the story most likely okay but i just want you guys to to have the right frame in going into it because when you're too eager 
okay then then what happens is it comes across in your mannerisms in your behavior and what you say and just like it's coming across in this email right how's it coming across the tone there all right so he says here all right i find this weird because when i asked my friend he said that she didn't add him in her private story this oh gosh you, i can see where this is going it's not going to go to a good place this is just too much too much hopeful Yes. Yeah. Okay. And this is again, guys, why I say you need to have a lot of experience with women, because if like one girl showing interest in you means this much to you and you're investing in this much, you're going to come across as desperate and needy. Okay. You should have a lot of different girls that you're talking to that you've had interactions with so that you don't. So this isn't a big deal. Not a big deal. Not it doesn't matter. You see what I'm saying? If you make it a big deal, it, it's not going to end well for you. You're going to end up in the friend zone like we're talking about here. So Okay, fast forward to six months later. <laughs> oh, wow. We met again to, quote, study, and we talked more than we actually studied. All right, so what is going on here six months later? Okay, this isn't a, a Nicholas Sparks novel, okay? This isn't The Notebook or something. Y you got to make action, take some moves. If this girl was interested in you, you're studying with her, okay? I always tell guys this. It's so funny. It's like just take aggressive, bold action. Right? It's okay to get shot down or rejected, but it's not okay to come off cross as being too nice or too docile. All right. A girl might be like, whoa, whoa, buddy, what you what you doing there? That's fine. All right. At least she's like, hey, this guy's got some balls. He's got a little bit too much balls. Well, I'll have to shut him down, but that's fine. Get shut down. Okay. You want to get shut down for a couple of reasons. One, if you're going to have a positive interaction with that girl, if there's a potential of it, she's like, okay, this guy's got balls. He's 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 a man. All right. That's, you know, th that's good. But if you're going to have a negative interaction with her, if nothing that you're going to say or do is going to make her attracted to you, you're going to find out real fast. OK, by the way that she shuts you down and she's going to avoid you after that. She's like, I don't want anything to do with this guy. So you're getting to you're cutting to the chase instead of like our friend here in the story, waiting six months to find out the you know, the continuation of this saga. You don't want to wait six months for things. You know, take your action, all right? If you're with a girl on a date, guys, every single time, kiss her. Every single time, okay? And not just the peck on the cheek, go for the makeout. I know a lot of people are going to be like, John, how can you say that? Just do it. So what? Okay? You get, she can turn her cheek if she, her face to the side and give you the cheek if you, if she wants to, but you should be going for it. You should be thinking in the mind, in your mind, you're going for it. Not just, not just with girls, but in life. OK, just go for it. OK, don't don't be the guy that's like, well, I don't know if the opportunity present. No, make the opportunity. Go for it. OK, take a chance. Worst you can do is get told no. Worst you can do is be rejected. Right. But sometimes you know, and I'll, I'll, get, I'll have to tell you guys my Blink 182 story. I, I took Blink 182 to the movie theater. OK, to see American Pie, because I simply asked Mark when I saw him, I was like, hey, would you like a ride to the movie theater? It was a stupid thing to ask. Most likely he's going to say no, but I shot my shot and he said, yeah, let's do it. All right. I'll, I'll tell you guys that story sometime if you haven't heard it. But anyway, OK, let's let's move on here. He says she's sharing her personal life to me. She's being comfortable around me and she's and she caring for me made me think that she might like me and have feelings towards me. And to be honest, I also liked her for that reason, as I have never had a female friend do this to me or do things to that extent. And so, again, guys. You know, reading the signals here, probably she did. Probably she had some interest. All right. But you have to you have to understand that women, they're always testing you. OK. And when a, a woman is showing some kind of interest in you and you are not when you're acting kind of nice guy ish, when you're acting like, oh, does she really like me? I'm not sure. I hope she really likes me. I don't want to blow it. She's like, Ugh, one of those guys again. Damn, I thought this guy was the lion that I was looking for. I thought he I thought he was like this fearless, strong man. But he's one of these guys that's like, I don't know if she really likes me. I better not do anything. I'm I'm scared. What if she rejects me? And she's like, eh, yeah, and, she, and it's going to fizzle. She's going to lose. She's going to lose her attraction. Right? You have to take action. All right. So this is probably she was interested. A lot of times you guys screw it up and you end up in the friend zone because you had a girl that was interested in you. She saw you as this alpha cool guy and then you turned out to be this really just weak and pathetic guy that that was unsure of himself be sure of yourself okay just take the risk that's that's how you do it and who cares if it blows up in your face right all right so around mid-october it was her birthday and decided 
to buy her a gift with a couple of roses. I also plan to tell her my feelings. Okay. I'll just keep on going here. Come to that day where we plan to study. We met at a cafe after telling her my feelings and giving her birthday presents. She tells me that she already has a boyfriend. <laughs> Two months have passed. I am still shocked and keep telling myself that I'm going to move forward and that I don't have feelings for her anymore, where in reality, I still do. I don't know what to do regards. All right. So, oh gosh, so many bad things here that, that are wrong about this. All right. Not to say that I haven't made this mistake before. I've made this mistake. All right. I remember in college, I was, I was, there, there was this really, really hot girl in my, my English class, the hottest girl in the whole college. Okay. And you know, I, of, of course, you know, had a crush on her and apparently like one, like I was, I had mentioned to one of my friends or something or, or, you know, I don't know the word got around the, the grapevine. Okay. That I wanted to, I was interested in her that I wanted to, ask her to the pledge dance I had for my fraternity. Okay. And so, you know, I don't know, the, the, the message got passed somehow. I was trying to get her phone number or something or whatever. And one day I'm in my friend's dorm room. She shows up or her friend shows up at the door and, and, and her, and she's like, uh, you know, is, is John here? Uh, you know, this girl, I won't say her name just for, for the purposes of, well, I don't know who cares, Elena. All right. She was like, you know, I, I want to, I want to talk to, I want to talk to him or Elena wants to talk to him. Right. So I go, you know, over to her room and, and she's like, I heard you wanted to ask me to the, the pledge dance. Okay. And so again, me and my, <laughs> like having the girl do that, that's, it, it's fine. I was flattered, obviously nervous as hell, but I was like, yeah. And then, you know, obviously invited her, she accepted, you know, and she said, do you want me to wear this? I was like unable to, to, keep from blushing at that, at that point in, in, in time. And so it was not necessarily the best start. Fast forward this, end up doing the pledge dance thing. I make no moves on her, you know, total nice guy stuff. Uh, after that, right, that night, I write up this sappy little letter and I get a, a rose and I put it on her door, okay? <laughs> oh yeah, because I'm like, yeah, you know, this is, I'm, I'm not like the other guys. I'm this cool, awesome guy, you know, just, you know, anyway, this, uh, this dude in the, in the dorm, uh, this, this big, tall, uh, black guy, basketball player, you know, he, he comes up and he, he or he, he removes the thing from the door and he, and he comes up and talk to me. He's like, I did you a favor. And I'm like, what? And I got actually pissed. I got angry at him. And I actually, <laughs> I was like, I'm going to kick your ass. All right. And you know, I was still a big guy in, 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 in college at, at that point. And he was trying to explain to me. He's like, dude, you don't want to do that. Like, I'm just trying to help you out, man. And you know, he, poor guy, he was awesome. like, I owe him. <laughs> I, he, he really tried to save my ass. Okay. And anyway, what ended up happening was I basically told him I was going to kick his ass unless he went and to her room and delivered the flower and the note and apologized for taking it off her door. And he reluctantly did it. Okay. And uh, yeah, so, so I went over and that was it. That was, uh, that was it that I was done. I was done at that point. Right. She just like laughed basically in my face. And I mean, you know, it wasn't, you know, but, but yeah, I mean, later there was some, some, a re rekindling of, of that uh, at some point, but, but what had happened was I was acting like this guy. Okay. Right. You know, he, he said here, ah, you know, I got the flowers and, you know, express my feelings for her. Right. Don't do that. Don't do that. Okay. Let me, let me be, let me, let me be the guy that tried to stop me. All right. Back on that fateful day. All right. And, and tell you guys don't do that. And, and again, no, it's a good example, right? I literally threatened to kick this guy's ass, my white knightness inside of me. All right. So I was on the surface level, this alpha strong guy. Okay. You know, I, obviously the, you know, the hottest girl in the, in the college like was interested in me, but when she found out who I really was, which was this weak, pathetic, blue pilled kind of beta guy inside at that point in my life, she lost interest. Okay. And so 
guys, you need to not do this. Okay. This is how you get put in the friend zone. Okay. You don't just buy a girl a gift that you hardly know and, and, and get her some roses. You actually have to show some real actual sexual desire. Okay. You have to actually make moves. You actually have to be aggressive, sure that you want her in a sexual way. Now, it's not only that. I mean, you can you see the thing is what, what happens. I think guys get it backwards, right? So between girls, it's almost like, like it happens the opposite way. So, so what usually happens with guys is they fall in love with a girl before they've had sex with her. Let's put it that way. Okay. Before they've had any kind of sexual interactions with her. So they fall in love ahead of time. They're like, Oh, she's so beautiful. She's so wonderful. She's so majestic. You know, she's like the girl of my dreams, all of these things. Right. And they, they get a crush and then they fall in love with this girl that they, before they've really had any kind of like sexual interaction with her. Okay. It, it's premature. Whereas women, it's almost the opposite, right? So a woman doesn't really fall in love that way. It, it's more like she's had some sexual experience with the guy. It doesn't have to necessarily be actual sex, but sexual chemistry. And based on that, then she's like, then she looks at these other attributes of the guy and she's like, oh, I really do like this guy. And and now I'm starting to fall from him. So, you know, talking about catching the feels. All right. That's like guys catch the feels like prematurely. All right. And girls catch the feels later on. It takes a longer period of time. It takes a longer time for women to simmer on, on everything. Right. From it takes a longer time for women to get aroused sexually than men. All right. It takes a longer time for women to develop feelings for a guy. And, and so as a guy, what you have to do is you have to not 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 shoot your shot too quickly. All right. You got to kind of back off a little bit and, and let her come to you. Let her chase you. Let her develop feelings for you. Right. Instead of you just wearing your heart on your sleeve. Again, I talk about in the Bulldog Mindset Membership. And the three levels of emotional mastery. If you haven't already joined, go join for $7 for the first month, guys. Come on. Uh, you're you're going to get lessons on this. And, and I actually have a, a lesson in the Bulldog Mindset membership on how to conduct a date, right? From the beginning, how to escalate that so that you're not one of those nice guys that gets a peck on the cheek. That alone is worth the price of admittance. Trust me on this one. Plus, you get a whole community of, of, of men helping you out with your problems, can tell you when you're being too much of a nice guy. Like, you know, for example, if you're in the Bulldog Mindset Discord server and you were in the social channel and you said, hey, I'm going to buy this girl that for some flowers for her birthday and get her a gift and tell her my feelings you would have like a hundred guys telling you do not do that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Stop. And they would, it would give you some advice. So if you don't have that in your life, go join, like I said, and, and go check it out, at least try for one month to trial it. You, you definitely owe that to yourself. All right. So, so yeah, so guys, I, I don't, I don't know how to put it aside from that is that you just need to delay Right. Like I said, you cannot be developing like strong feelings for a girl until you you make sure that she has started to fall as well. And and what what happened, you know, the, the key mistake here, if you if you look at exactly what happened with this interaction is probably this girl was interested in in our hero here and he didn't act. OK, he was not aggressive. Instead, he was so infatuated, so falling in love, so careful Okay, that she lost interest because girls want a guy that is bold, that that feel, that's confident, that knows his way around women, that knows what he's doing. And again, this is why I tell you guys, you just have to develop experience. Okay, it's not like you you are starting off the game in an uneven playing field. Women have a lot more ability and social skills than you do. So you have to develop that by having some experience with with different women and going on a lot of dates and interacting with women. That's why, again, a lot of people, a lot of guys are like, oh, I don't like the cold approach thing, blah, blah, blah. I just look for choose. No, you need to have like a lot of interactions. OK, some of it is is just about getting those interactions so that you can be comfortable and try things out and you can you can be comfortable with your sexuality as a man as well. I've got some videos on that. Again, in the membership and also on, on the channel, if you search uh, about that, because if you don't do that, all right, you are going to end up in the situation where you put yourself in the friend zone because our hero here, he put himself in the friend zone. Clearly, like I, I think you guys can see that, that the girl was probably interested in him. All right. She privately Snapchat him or whatever. And then he waits six months. And then after that, who knows? Maybe she got her boy. Maybe she did have a boyfriend, 
and maybe she was interested in him, but he she wasn't interested enough in him because he wasn't aggressive, right? And then what really completely snuffed out his chances was when he got her flowers and a gift without really knowing her and then just dumped his feelings. <laughs> okay. You, you cannot do that guys. You, again, it's, it's not saying that you can't have feelings. It's not that saying that you can't even fall in love. That those, those are all fine things, but you can't be so premature in it where there's there's nothing to base this on. you know what what is what does he feel like he's had a couple of chats with her uh, you know women have a lot more experience with men in in relationships and that's why it you know for, for a large degree it takes them longer to fall for a guy because they're like yeah i've already been through this stage multiple times this is probably the first girl that he's you know possibly you know had this kind of interaction with and so he's just very eager but you you have to like I said, you have to slow down. And, you know, as far as like addressing the last thing he said here, I, I don't know what to do, right? Essentially two months have passed. I'm still shocked. I keep telling myself that I'm going to move forward and I don't have feelings for it anymore. In reality, I still do. I don't know what to do. I'll tell you what to do. <laughs> I told the last guy, pretend like she's dead because she is dead. Okay. In your world, she's dead. She doesn't exist anymore. Okay. Why? Because there, there's no, you have to understand that there's no chance of resurrecting this. OK, you're, you're basically in the permaband friend zone. All right. That that is basically where you have to put yourself, because even if you did come back from this some magical way, you would still be this guy that's going to just face this rejection further down the line because you have not actually become the guy that, that she's going to be attracted to. OK, you have to actually get some experience, get out there, listen to what I'm saying, have your mindset in the right place. If, if your singer is so high value. OK, and yourself as I hope she accepts me, I hope she picks me. She's never going to because it's not going to be attractive. It's not an attractive trait. OK, so just pretend like she's dead. OK, move on. Find another girl. Find five, 15 other girls. Assume that that you're going to have to go and, and try out multiple girls, meaning that like that you're going to have to interact with them and ask them out on a date or whatever it is before you're actually going to get enough experience where you are actually going to have some success, right? Thinking that you're just going to find some girl and she's going to be perfect in because she shows you some little amount of attention that she must be in love with you. It's it's wrong. It's not correct. OK, and, and you guys need to realize that. All right. So get over her. OK, by just forgetting about her and just pretend like she's she's gone. There's no chance as long as you're holding on to some hope. That's what a lot of you guys are doing. And then you're going to keep yourself from moving on. Get rid of the hope. Pretend like she's dead.